Right? Come on, that was a great guess. All right, Ashwiniji, are we ready to take the evening to next level? Yes, we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Our awesome mayor, awesome, awesome counselor from Y25, Jennifer, we are very thankful to you for making this happen. She has played a big role, John, in getting this thing done. And thank you very much. Please, stage is yours. Namaste. Now I'm going to try something here and see if I can succeed in having you understand what I'm going to say. Svan Tantrata Divas Ki Shub Hakamanan. You! That's close. For those who didn't understand any of that, I tried to say <laughs> Happy Independence Day. Yeah. And I cannot tell you how honored I am to be here with you today. Um, and especially in the presence of, uh, well, Salma Zayed, who's the Member of Parliament, and I want you to know um, she is somebody that I work very closely with uh, day in and day out, as does Jennifer, my colleague Jennifer McKelvey. Uh, but I just want Salma to, to know how grateful I am for the partnership that we've established with the Government of Canada in doing so many things that are good for the people of uh, Toronto, for Indo-Canadians, for all Torontonians, and that we're working hard on housing and transit and things like that. So Zama, thank you very much, and thank you for being here to honor our, our India on its 75th anniversary of independence. And of course, I'm also very honored to be here with my colleague, uh, Jennifer McKelvey. Jennifer is a first-term councillor, and yet in that very short period of time, uh, she's become a member of the executive committee of the city. She chairs one of its most important committees that has to do with infrastructure and the environment. And I can just tell you, she is fighting for Scarborough. She is fighting for all Torontonians all the time. And that she is just a joy to work with for me uh, as the mayor. I also want to uh, please give her a round of applause as well. I want you to uh, also express my thanks to Ashwani and the Hindu Cultural Society for uh, putting this on. You know, um, one of the great things about Toronto is we celebrate each other, and we celebrate each other's special occasions. And when you think about India and its independence 75 years on, India is one of the great democratic miracles of the world. You know, to run a democracy of 40 million people here in Canada, that is challenging enough. To run a democracy with more than a billion people, and to resist all the things that can happen in the world to thwart the democratic will of people and the democratic process that is so important to us and to our values as Canadians um, is something that I have always found to be miraculous. And India is building itself, of course, at the same time into an economic powerhouse, raising up the lives of so many people in that country, which I've been privileged to visit uh, twice as your mayor to try and establish deeper and, and broader uh, relationships between the people of Toronto and, and the people of India. And of course, part of that is to encourage more people from India to come here. We've been blessed. We have, I think has been mentioned earlier tonight, we have 1.4 million Indo-Canadians, which is an extraordinary number in a country of only 40 million people. But you know, it's not just about the numbers. It's about what has been brought to this country by those 1.4 million people, many hundreds of thousands of them right here in the city of Toronto. And they have brought, yes, they brought traditions, and they brought culture, and they brought food. They brought enterprise too. They've created jobs for many other Canadians. And they have enriched us in a way that I can hardly describe as a city. We are blessed by the presence of Indo-Canadians here in the city of Toronto. And they're a force for good, and a force for peace, and a force for family, and a force for faith, and things that help to keep this city stable in a way that I think people in the rest of the world admire. And I want you to know that I've learned a lot by being, uh, by being associated as mayor with the faith communities and even before that. It isn't by accident that I wear this molly on my wrist that I've had here for a long time. And they tell me that the tradition, of course, is that you leave it on until it falls off. And these have been on here for two years, at least maybe three. And if I've done anything good, it's because I'm guided by this on my wrist each and every day. And it reminds me as well of the friendship and the respect that I have uh, for uh, our Hindu community here in the city of Toronto. So I'll just say this to you, it's not an occasion for me to speak any longer, except to say that I celebrate this most important and auspicious 75th anniversary of Indian independence today, but also that I hope we will take it as a reminder of a couple of things. First, 
that we want to continue, we need to continue, we must continue to make sure that people who live in the City of Toronto, and for that matter in all of Canada, can always remember that it is not only possible, but it is desirable for people to, at one and the same time, be proud of their, Indo their Indian heritage and at the same time be proud Canadians, because we know that's true, and we know that builds a bigger and better and stronger country. And the second thing I would say to you is that I hope all of you will take careful note of the fact that we have gone through the pandemic together. We supported each other. We posted numbers in terms of the health uh, and the vaccination rates and so on that were the best in the world. And we did that because we avoided falling prey to those who would divide us, those who would polarize us, those who, who, those who would spread news that was designed to get people anxious and to divide them from each other. And we just have to make sure as we go forward in the aftermath of the pandemic that we learn the lesson yet again, that when we stick together,